uh, and Rebecca Miano. Jeff, Kirui KTN News. Moving on, a group of human rights activists have welcomed the decision by President William Ruto to disband the dreaded Special Service Unit, which has been linked to extrajudicial killings and forceful disappearance of some Kenyans. The human rights defenders are demanding thorough investigations of members of the disbanded SSU and uh, prosecution of members of the SSU for their individual and command roles in kidnappings, extrajudicial execution and extortion. Our reporter Brenda Zeda Radido with the details. For years, the Special Service Unit has been dogged by allegations of extrajudicial killings in the country. Between January 2022 to September 2022, some 107 Kenyans have been killed and 10 others mysteriously disappeared. According to Missing Voices Coalition, those to blame are police officers. In 2021, at least 219 people were killed and others disappeared. Out of the 2019, the rights group's claims 187 was a result of police killings, while 32 allegedly died while in police custody. In 2019, a total of 154 people were killed, and in 2007, 1,264 cases of police-linked executions and 237 cases of enforced disappearances. So the challenge has been that most of those special units, so-called special units, have been accountable to themselves. And that's why you have this lawlessness, criminality, you know, abductions, kidnappings, extortion, extrajudicial executions, and enforced disappearances. The special unit is not enough. Members of the SSU must be investigated and prosecuted for their individual and command roles in extortion, abductions, kidnappings, and torture. The country's security agencies have been accused of not effectively investigating these cases or any SSU members for alleged abuses, leading to several outcries from families or the victims. The decision by the government to disband the much dreaded special unit on Saturday has been applauded by human rights bodies. The presidential admission confirms previous uh, public statements by us that the Kenya government has been complicit in a policy of extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances or unwilling to stop police units responsible for the same. Everybody who was involved in this, either by allowing the setting up of this unit uh, or commanding this unit, should be held accountable. Nobody should be left because we have a tendency in this country of holding to account uh, the junior people within uh, institutions. We want to go to the highest level. Under the Police Reforms Working Group Kenya, they also want a judicial and parliamentary commission of inquiry established to investigate the extrajudicial killings forceful disappearance and abductions. If you just tell us that you are going to hold to account a unit, it doesn't help us. Put the names on print. Let us see the names. Let us scrutinize the names. So that we tell you if you are leaving out anybody that is on our case files uh, as, 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 as victims, as families, as human rights organizations. And we are prepared to participate and provide evidence in the Commission of Inquiry and to mobilize citizens to come out and, and, and present their, their, their grievances before the Commission of Inquiry. The father wants the government to issue a national apology to all families of victims and nations for lives lost. All officers of the Justice Bonded Unit have already been disarmed, recalled to the DCI headquarters for further instructions and sent on leave pending investigations. Brenda Zeda Radido, KTN News. Now, police have